Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Trofin at the Babbling Belgian, and this is still The Last of Us Part 2, which apparently isn't really keen on ending. So last time we had this very touching scene with Ali and Dina and the baby in uh, Jackson again, and for some reason Ali still doesn't want to let the past rest. So that means she left Dina and uh, presumably went with Tommy towards, um, yeah, where we are at the moment. I don't know exactly where we are. Probably Santa Barbara, since that was where the, uh, where if Abby the was uh, going to. Yeah. What do you think they're up to? I don't know. The goal was always to restore society. I mean, there's all sorts of ways to go about it. In, indeed, and that's apparently it. But uh, yeah, now we've taken control over Abby just again. Uh, we're just taking a look around, Lev. Um, but ju let's let's just take up stock first. So we have um, basically, I think we have most of our materials that we had before. We have a few hunting pistol rounds as well, even though it doesn't seem like we do have the hunting pistol anymore. Because if we check out our inventory, we have a pistol, a shotgun, and that's about it. Two bombs and a health kit. Other than that, I still seem to have 20 pills, which I think is where we ended off at. So, I don't have the weapons anymore, but I do still see, have, seem to have the, uh, the pills. But, uh, let's take a look around to see if we can find anything. Seems like a strange place to find a resistance group. We had all sorts of outposts. Big and small. Best way to hide from the army. Oh, where we have this graffiti of a skull with a snake around it. Where graffiti? Does that mean fireflies? No. Nothing I recognize, at least. No, indeed. That seems to be a lot more malicious than just the firefly logo, which was just a a moth, and it seems to be repeating over there on the caravan. That does not bode well. And okay, more numbers. 24, 17. Getting warmer. Um, I think the I chapter... Not. I'm sweating already. Not like that, Lav. such a gooper. What? Nothing. Hey, something's out there. Ooh. Those infected. Okay. Demon. So there is infected around. Okay. There's... Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, they still with us. Okay. So that's two of them. Uh, we don't have a brick. You know what? I think I can just do this with normal melee heads. Back to basics, I suppose. And there we go. With momentum, we can kill both of them in one go. Yeah, momentum is really strong in cases like this. All right, we're good. And no bullets wasted, no health lost. Um, should probably take a look inside. I never actually noticed, but the Abby's breathing also needs to cool down after a fight, which is a really, really nice touch. Something you usually don't. Oh, clicker. Yep, definitely clicker. Need to be careful. So there's. A Adhesive here, I don't think it can see us just yet. Well, it can never see us, but... Oh, and I don't have a shiv. I don't have shivs. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I can't just... I can't just attack it like that. Yeah, right, I can't forget. We don't have the tools to deal with a clicker. And it's right next to the door now. I don't know if it actually... I could should probably take it out with the shotgun. Oh wow, um... Oh yeah, perfect. That was a great start. He didn't die from a shotgun blast, so that... Shotgun sucks. Fair enough. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Move it, Abby, move it, Abby, move it, Abby. There we go. There we go. That's at least one down. Snap. And then this one is... 
moving along, but I think I'll be able to grab it. There we go. Two ways to play, two ways to go. So just uh, snapping some necks. There we go. So now, I'm thinking I might have used the wrong entryway to this building. Because there might be some resources that we can use to actually take out um, these guys stealthily. Oh, there's a clicker. There's a clicker, okay. So I should probably just grab this guy. Like this. But we can't do that to the clicker. So we'll need some tools to do that. We got a bottle over here, but without a melee weapon, that's not going to change much. So, might just have to deal with it in the normal way without even shooting it. Oh god. I think it hurt me. I think it hurt me. The question is can I maybe. Because I know there's a bomb here as well. Did that, did that kill it? I have bombs. Yeah, that definitely killed it. Okay. Whew. Booting around. I knew something was out there. Yes, you did. Keep your guard up. Let's go back to finding that house. 2425. Attaboy. So there we go. 2425 is what we're looking for. It's also the name of the chapter, if I... Uh, recall correctly uh, and there's a note over here and the note says the Rattlers are here no one is going to make me their fucking slave Andrew Logan Ori daddy is coming to see you okay the Rattlers so that's probably the name of the faction with that uh, logo we we've seen them here? assuming all the leads dry up what would you like to do I don't know Leave this place? Okay. And where would we go? West. <laughs> See what's out there. It's nothing but ocean. And past it? Other countries, I guess. You want to do that? Why not? Good question. So yeah, Abby is also probably not at an age where she would have memories of before the infection, so knowledge of the world in total would be limited. Um, other than that, this place seems to be pretty quiet. There was one house that we could enter, but other than that... Oh, no, wait, wait. I should have shut up. I should have shut up. I can open this up. Might have more infected, but... Oh, this is... Probably going to be bad as well. More infected or not. Okay, can you go down, Abby? Thank you. I'm gonna craft more bombs. I have the resources for it, so might as well do that. So that's four bombs, that's gonna be nice. And it looks like this revolver actually uses the same ammo as the hunting pistol, because it's gone up in the crafting menu as well. Doesn't seem like there's anything in here, which means that I can loot the place. They painted the indoors to look like the outdoors, but plants don't look like that. It's more like a a child's dream version of the outdoors. In the old world, it would be common for them to decorate kids' rooms like this. My dad painted a, a colorful jungle for me. Oh. Yara would have loved that. I bet she would have. I mean, I don't think it's that common, but nice touch, I guess. <laughs> Um, or, or, or I had not, not such a good childhood as I think I had, but uh, my parents never did that for me. And that suddenly turned everything really, really sad. I didn't mean for that to happen, so let's just continue looting and find some more good stuff. Oh, there's something over here okay. that I can check out. 2425 Constance. This is the place. Okay, but there's nothing here. We don't know that yet. Indeed, there is nothing here. Uh, we can go through the house on the other side. I've seen the, uh, the street seems to be accessible, but other than that, this place seems pretty empty, even resources-wise. So we can go out the back, but there's one closed-off room inside of the house, which is probably what the game wants us to check out, I would assume, because this is the 
address that Abby and Lev were looking for, so if we just open this door up. Locked. Okay, which means that we need to go through Maybe the outside. There's another way in? Probably. Wait. Are you being positive? I'm trying to be helpful. You're always helpful. Oh, that's nice. It actually shows us uh, a bit of growth between these characters. That's probably the stairway to the second level, or does this house not have a second level? Seems like it does have at least an attic of some sort, but might not be that accessible now. Nada. The bedroom. But why would the fireflies just come? Really nothing. Yeah. Live in one room. A single house. That doesn't make any sense. They were uh, quite a big organization, so. Maybe something in the bathroom? Nope. Nope. Just some more alcohol. So that doesn't make sense. Might as well open that up. And then we can go out over here. So the house didn't have any clues, but there's a, an empty pool and more importantly, a shed in the corner, which is probably where the game is pointing us to. Because I don't see another way out of here. Love, I think we're done here. So this might actually be a short chapter. You find something? Wait, there's also this shed. Give me a second, I can open this up. Maybe I should check out what Lev saw first, but I can't back out of this. At least it gives me some more supplies. Doesn't seem to be anything here, but... Supplies is always nice, although I'm not getting enough to actually make something. I can make another health kit, which is probably gonna be good. There we go. At least I can get some more rags now in my inventory, but other than that... Lev says he's found something. Oh yeah, track marks. Indeed, and there's supposed to be another room there. Scratches. Indeed, Scratch. that, that can be moved. And there we go, pushing. Aha, uh -huh. secret room. Oh, secret basement even. Now we're getting somewhere. Hello? I wouldn't yell hello if you think there might be infected in here. They were definitely sleeping here. Um, but other than that... Can I go in there? No. Hmm. So they were definitely here at some point. Anyone's been here. Unfortunately, I have to agree with you. But indeed, the beds are so moldy that it's probably unlikely that anybody's still living here. But they might have left behind a clue. Um, even resources-wise, this is again very, very empty, although this is a pretty big basement. Pretty nice barracks, all things considered. Indeed, this was a huge basement. And there's more resources for us, but all quarter resources, so that means that we need to, to find at least four to even do something with them. Which is uh, not a good sign. Well, not a good sign in the sense that we probably... The game doesn't expect us to do much with these resources, so... Either it's trying to go they for something for that's... While. Not gonna take too long. That's the shower, right? Mm-hmm. And there seems to be still some electricity running, which is weird. So it's hooked up to all these car batteries, but I would think if they haven't been here in a while, that that wouldn't work anymore. Let's try the radio first. They had power down here. Indeed. Look around. So there we go. We can switch this on. Guess they've got solar. Oh. But if it's solar, why are there like... Eight car batteries hooked up to it. <laughs> Don't think it works like that, Abby, but there we go. Radio. Is this frequency currently in use? This is... Do you see a call sign anywhere? Oh, a what? It's a short list of numbers and letters. Hmm. Fuck it. This is Abby from Santa Barbara. Can anyone hear me? Standing by. Is anyone out there? What's this? Okay, those are call signs. 
No frequencies, okay. Is this frequency currently in use? This is Abby from Santa Barbara. Is anyone out there? Are these other Firefly outposts? I don't know. Can anyone hear me? Hello? Is this frequency currently in use? This is Abby from Santa Barbara. Hello? Hello? Calm down, Abby. Give it time. Is this frequency currently in use? Hello, this is Abby from Santa Barbara. Can anyone hear me? If anyone can hear me, please reply. Please answer. Hi, Abby. We got a clear signal on you. Where in Santa Barbara are you calling from? Um. 24, 25 constants. Uh, we got a tip about a base, but there's no one here. We're looking for fireflies. I'm a, I'm a firefly. That's probably no good. Where were you stationed? Yeah. I was part of the Salt Lake outpost. Who ran that facility? Dr. Jerry Anderson. He was my dad. Pulled everyone back from the satellite stations and brought them back here to home base. How many of you are there? More about 200 strong now, with a few more every month. Oh, no, right. You're about to get two more. How do we find you? Get to Catalina Island. Approach the large domed building in Avalon. We'll find you. Okay. Okay. We'll see you soon. Over and out. Looking forward to it. Good luck, Abby from Santa Barbara. Over and out. Come on, let's get back to the sailboat. Well, that's finally a little bit of joy. But I feel like a group called the Rattlers is gonna put a stop to that. Okay, fine. You were right. Uh, what was that? Why do you make me repeat whenever I'm wrong? Because it makes me feel better. And because it happens so rarely. Okay. I feel like we got a little bit of happiness and now we're gonna get attacked again, but... That actually makes me wonder. She just said that her father was the... the leader of the group, but I felt like that was Marlene, but apparently not. Oh yeah, there we go. Wow. And there we go. Whoa. Well, this is great. Oh, kill her now. Tyra. It's getting kind of predictable. Ah. Wait, what are you doing? Wait, wait. Ah. 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 Fuck, man! You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> wow, she got it. Uh, Don't you fucking touch him! <laughs> they need to treat people to just get Abby. <laughs> And there goes the happiness. Down the toilet. Again. Where 
would you go from here? Two, four, two, five, Constance. Yeah, that's gotta be it. <sighs> and we're back with Ali, obviously. Um, I'm assuming, judging from... Where did we get the boat, by the way? I'm assuming we're, we're with Tommy, but there's a note here that says... Wait a second, is this Abby's boat? So the good info I traded those fish for turned out to be bogus. Despite our repeated dead ends, my gut tells me the fireflies are... Fireflies written like that are in Santa Barbara somewhere. I'm picturing the shark I'd be getting if you heard me say that. Shut up. Gonna check out another tip back in the suburbs, wish us luck. Sitting by the fire at night with Lev looking at the waves thinking about you, I told him your stupid joke about the skateboarding grandma. He laughed so hard he spit out his food, it's the happiest I've seen him yet. I miss you, you'd have liked it here. There are no towns, just small caravans that move up and down the coast. Everyone says Santa Barbara is haunted, like some Bermuda Triangle. I think it's beautiful. I saw a seal the other day. It had spots. Is this some karmic way of you mocking me? So this is definitely Abby's boat, because that's yeah the the shark plushie that Abby got for Lev is right here. So let's get out of the okay. For some reason it's not really. I probably need to jump out. Yeah, there we go. How would she get up to the street from here? Okay, so this is the boat they probably used, so they ran, they sailed across the shoreline up until this point. And this is where Ali found the boat. But what now? Because, I mean, it's beautiful out here, but I would assume that Tommy was out here with Ali as well, but there's no sign of him just yet. Let's go over here. There's a cave to the side where they clearly camped. Um, what weapons do we... Ooh, we have everything again. So that's the more interesting loadout. Although we seem to be pretty low on ammo for basically everything. Well, just, just a, a clip for everything. What's loaded in the gun? We do have a complete um, silencers and some arrows for everything. Okay. That's good. That's good. Let's just go up here. See where we uh, where we end up. Probably on the same street that Abby and Lev are on. But uh, we're clearly in hope pursuit. Maybe we need to even <laughs> rescue uh, Abby. That would be weird. That makes me feel like Uncharted with this setting. And her uh, her outfit is a bit more like adventurous than it was before. Love like there's like aha, that is more interesting. A wooden board. We ha already have a melee weapon now. We can smack somebody in the face with that. Maybe one of those uh, those biker dudes. Um, then we can squeeze in between here and go up oh, yeah. even higher, right next to that house. And then we get to another street. I don't know the cameras. No, yeah, okay, I'm not in control at the moment. Mesa Bluff. I'm here, and Santa Barbara proper is that way. I am still perplexed that this game is still going. We're in a completely different part of the country now. And yeah, we face, aha, infected over there. But Abby is better equipped than Abby is. Okay, that was a very loud clicker noise. I'm gonna have to be careful because I feel like with this amount of vegetation, the uh, the clickers are in the advantage. I hear a clicker, but I don't see it yet. So let's just grab and stab. I feel like it's on the other side of the vegetation here. Oh, there's one over there. 
But I might want to move inside of the house first if I can take some cover here. And assess the situation from afar. Ooh, we're actually full up on stuff as well. And I have all the bombs I can carry, so it did definitely carry over. I can make another Molotov. But it did carry over Ellie's equipment, which is a nice touch. I even feel like it carried over Ellie's health a little bit. And we're getting crafting materials, which is an good as well. There's a note here. I know I told you I'd wait for you here, but it's not safe. Rattlers are all through these woods. I can't risk getting chained up again. I'll be in that place where I told you that ping pong ball joke. I miss your laugh. Hope you got out okay. Now, let's go to crouched again. Because the clickers are making a lot of noise. Although I'm really, really not that scared of clickers anymore. Um, let's grab the bow and take out some more clicky clicks. So there's a runner to the side and a clicker behind that stop sign. Um, oh god, she's going to turn around. I don't think she spotted me. I was hoping the vegetation would stop line of sight a little bit. Come on, grab it, grab it. No! There we go. There we go. I think that was just on time. I think that was just in time. We didn't get the... Uh, the zing noise, where we get spotted. Um, definitely another runner. He can probably spot us from farther away than we can actually spot. And there's another clicker. Well, not another clicker, just a... Oh, stalkers. Yeah, we go. Okay, things are kicking off. Great. Uh, I'm gonna Molotov the area. And if I need to fire again, that's so be it, but... There we go. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, there's definitely another stalker running around. I think I see it over there. Damn it. There we go. Got the stalker in the face. I think that's it. The music is calming down, so I'm gonna suppose this is okay. Back to it. Back to it indeed. Didn't waste too many resources. Took out the infected. Really, really nicely. Can we grab another arrow from the corpse here? No. No. I'm hesitating whether I should upgrade the melee weapon. I could do, but I don't have a lot of adhesive. And I can use adhesive to also make arrows, so... Not in something I'm gonna spend resources on right now, so let's just get back to it, as Ali put so nicely. So for now we don't see... Oh! I was gonna say we don't spot enemies, but now suddenly there's like a, a clicker on the, on the roof. I could just... I could just go for it. Okay, that was that was a complete miss. That was in the face. There we go. Arrow in the brooch. And that takes out the clicker. I'm supposing I'm not going to get that arrow back. It was, you know, a crotch arrow. And you don't get crotch arrows back. It was silent though, so if there are any more in here... Should be able to take him out just with a, a stabby attack. I'm actually gonna go for the revolver. I like the revolver a bit more. Hope I can cut through here. Okay, so this might actually be the other side of that same mansion. I don't hear any infected inside just yet. I don't see it with the uh, the listening mode either. Aha! Uh -huh, we get more pills. Oh, this is a nice children's bedroom, and we have another card. And there we go, CBB73. That's gonna be a robot, right? Yeah, there we go. The Future Alliance. Apparently a robot with no brains, because the brains value was a bit low, but... There we have it. Makes sense, a trading card in the, uh, the room of a child. Now, that seems to be it for the upstairs area. We can go down. I can actually swap to another another board so that makes sense um, but other than that 
there's nothing here. So either I jump over this, or I, you know, take the stairs like a civilized person. I can't take the stairs, so I need to drop down. Any more enemies? Alright. Yep, definitely. I hear something behind me as well. Oh crap! Oh, oh okay. Never mind. Didn't realize we were in combat already. And I'm dead. Ah, it's gonna be dead. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Got it. So they just know why I'm here. Um, let's just put one down over here. And put one down over here. And then just go over here. There we go. Um, and let's swap over to the shotgun. There we go. He's gonna explode. And there goes the other one. There we go. Okay. Was that it? Because that was a nice ambush. Double shambler, double stalker. Got it. But it did get a bit of ammo back. Indeed, Ali. That was... That was so much. Happy. These infected killed you. Why does Ali still have that murder bonus? Because I felt like her arc was going in the direction that, okay... I gotta get out of here. This isn't working out. The, we need to stop the cycle of violence, but... I feel like at the end only Abby got that lesson and Ellie never really did. I can now uh, I'll craft some more arrows um, and I don't need to upgrade the melee weapon just yet so that's gonna be fine. I can take the stabby stabby. I've seen the workbench. I've definitely seen the workbench. If we get the trophy there then at least I know this is gonna be the final workbench. Okay, no all the resources to be found so let's check out this workbench. It might be the last, it might not be the last, I have no idea at this point. Um, but 68 things over here. Um, I think I was still saving up for the rangefinder, so I'm not going to do it. And apparently this is not the final workbench, or of course I missed one over the course of the game. That might also be very possible. Um, and I think I can now make some more bombs, there we go. And fill that back up with these uh, these resources. So there we go. That seemed like a good opportunity to use the bombs, even though we still need the two shotgun shells for each shambler to kill uh, to kill them afterwards. But that seems to be it for this house, which is uh, fair enough because that was a hefty fight. Let's go over here. Was that another noise, or was it just the noise of me going through the window? That sounded. Where am I? Awkward. There's um, gotta be a street around here. There we go. We can crawl through this hole. I feel like we might end up in the same position as Abby in a minute. That we got uh, attacked by these uh, rattlers. And also get caught. Yeah, I know. Okay. Santa Barbara's downhill. 24, 25, Constance. Aha, we get another journal entry. I didn't check the notebook. Let's go back a little bit and see what we can find out. Okay. Now, I think we can read from here. Dixie National Forest. Well, you know what? Did I actually... Is, was there something at the end here? No, not really. So... Dixie National Forest. A couple hunters tried to jump me, didn't go well for them. I just got to the outskirts of Las Vegas. I can hear the infected from here. Must be thousands still alive inside the walls. What a nightmare. I'm gonna go around Palmdale, California. So I'm hiding out in the basement, hoping this horde passes by. Miss you, potato. So that's the, uh, the baby. Still in this fucking basement. The batteries in my flashlight are almost done. The dark is fucking with me. I keep seeing him. Smelling iron. I miss Dina. I miss potato. What am I doing here? I got out. The horde got distracted by a group of travelers. Some of them didn't make it. Two of the bodies were kids. I buried them. Jesus Christ. Made it to the coast finally. It's gorgeous. Flowers everywhere. There's this thick morning gloom. Doesn't seem like the military ever came true. Maybe it was too spread out. I wish Dina could see this. She'd lose her shit. 
I like the sound of the waves. Heading down the coast, haven't seen people in a few days or intact sailboats. What if Tommy was wrong? What if they're not here anymore? I can't think about that. And then, of course, the address. But why didn't Tommy come with us? This doesn't make any sense. What reason would he have to... Because he was really pissed about the fact that Ellie didn't want to go through with it anymore. Um, which is, again, one of the biggest reasons why I'm kind of mad that they just pushed Ellie in this direction again. The, the murder rampage direction again. Uh, let's make another Molotov cocktail. And grab that alcohol. Gonna put a lit Molotov cocktail back in my backpack, as we usually do. Because fire safety is not important in the post-apocalypse. Oh, oh crap. Um, okay. So there is stuff. Can we... Ellie, can you grab the things that I... I know I can't use the health kit, but I, I can definitely use the other things. Okay. I was just about to say you can go pretty far out of the way of where the game wants you to go, because it, it's pushing you down. Oh crap, that wasn't good. I was hoping I, I could stun them, but there we go. Okay, that was a colossal waste of ammo. Because, I mean, it's just runners. And she actually got up here. Um, can't, can't she? Uh, there we go. She can't, but I can go down. That was badass. So yeah, the jumping attack is still a thing. I wasted a lot of ammo on those two. That was six bullets I could have used for something else. And I fluffed the silencer as well. That was not my brightest moment. Should have used a bow or something else, but... Going down, I suppose. I'm gonna do another slidey slide? No. Okay. Caravans and tr trucks. No, no, just, just X to go through here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, wow. Imbis ah, ha, ha, ha. Ah. Why? Why? Oh, great. Oh, that's not good, because the blood is going to go through that wound. Um, yeah, I think I kind of called it again. We're gonna be in the same position that um, Abby found herself in. Yeah, we had like five seconds of happiness back there when the radio worked and then everything went to shit again. No, definitely not Abby. Abby. We got a live one. Uh, Are those the same two dudes? Yeah. Fucked up. Uh, uh, be lucky if she lasts a month. Uh, can we please just say we're done for the day? Yeah. yeah get that thing down. Let's reset the trash. Really, man? I mean, is she even worth the trip back? It's not like. Yeah. Oh, Get you? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm good. You are? That sounded like a slashing noise. <laughs> Something funny? Looks like you shit your pants. <laughs> you oh, bitch. Oh. Oh, you, you like funny, huh? She probably landed yeah. on the knife again. Yeah. She got that back. We don't need this. No, man, she's fucked up anyway, man. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, it's funny, right? It's funny. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was smart. Holy crap. <laughs> Ali is a freaking badass. <laughs> wait, 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 you said Abby. You're looking for an Abby, right? We, we picked one up uh, a couple of months ago. A couple of months ago. Yeah, sure. Oh, no, big girl. Blonde. Arms like mine. She had a, a scrawny kid with cuts by his mouth. 
Yeah, that's her. You let me go. I'll tell you where she is. You can get to her before that infection takes over. Talk. She's in a holding cell at our camp. Where is that? Head that way till you hit the railroad track. That'll lead you to a resort. We keep them in the tall, round building. Oh, you're gonna be so dead, by the way, buddy. I mean, I've been complaining about this game a little, but that was one badass scene. Goodbye, buddy. I swear. Look. There we go. That was in the face. I mean, not in the face. I think that was in his throat. This is, um... Yeah, that's not good. And I think we can't bandage that up. What are you gonna do, Ellie? A few months, by the way. That's not gonna be good, is it? resort. Tall round building. Tracks to resort. What? What? Oh, we got the machine gun. That's the final weapon, probably, yeah. So we collected all weapons. Wow, that's... Ooh. Okay. How much time has passed? Fuck. No, not much. <laughs> we'll go back. Is that a gun? He's got a gun! Go there we go. God damn it. Shit. Okay. All right. Did he get a gun? Oh, the silence. The silent submachine gun. That got out. Watch out for infected. Yeah. I find out anyone helped him. They're going in the fucking pool. And there's dogs again. Beast. He was acting up for a while. This is the third this month. You ready to put more people on the gate? People on the gate need to do their fucking jobs. Go look around. I want to know if he was alone. Yeah, I think I can go now. There we go. Stab him in the face and then go behind the car. Ooh, ooh, I want the hammer. I want the hammer. Where's the dog? Okay, so the dog is, is still in the back there. So I think if this guy or this woman is coming along the corner, she's gonna die. There's nothing on the side of the building. Okay, she turned around. But that doesn't mean shit, because they're trying to cover the buildings. She al I almost got in her peripheral vision. Quiet. Yeah, I think he's gonna spot me. Did he spot me? I think we've got company. I'll see what it was. Okay. Where's the submachine gun? Cars. There we go. And there we go. Ooh. Where did that come from? You're dead, do you hear me? Okay, so there's a guy over there. I don't think he knows where I am. I don't know how much this tree actually protect protects me. I think if I just go around, he should be dead. There we go. Goodbye, buddy. Don't. Don't, indeed. Because you're dead. They have, like, stylized batons, and the axe I got is also... It wasn't a hammer, it's like a... an axe-type thing. Big group. Yeah. So... Find her before these idiots kill her. The submachine gun actually does less damage, but it does have uh, a silencer on it, which is really, really nice. That is one sweet weapon. And I'm gonna definitely use that to my advantage, because Ellie is still one hell of a badass. Pile of fungus. But I don't care about piles of fungus. It's even that, just the, the bite that she showed to the big guy, like, no, I don't care. We, uh, we can't get infected, so... We don't care about any of that. Ooh, what is that? More explosive stuff, probably, it looks like. That kind of box. Other than that, yeah, a lot of resources here, so we're definitely packing heat again. 
I'm guessing once we get to the far end of this building, we're gonna get into more fighting, because this seems rather open. But I'm gonna try and keep my distance just a little bit, because I haven't really checked out this side of the building. Um, although it doesn't seem like there's anything interesting around here, so... Moving up, we're gonna do so with caution. I'm guessing this is gonna be a bigger complex of enemies. Ooh, this is actually a pretty big street. Again, wide open area to what I'm assuming is the end of the game. Yeah, there's definitely somebody over there. Yeah, definitely two people over there. Um, not in the best position here. Should probably get a little bit closer to the side here. Um, let me swap over to the bow. There's a half full ammo on the bow. Um, I think I can actually headshot this woman over there. Okay. Yeah, there we go. She's down in the head. And that guy seems to be sporting a helmet. I can maybe shoot him in the back of the head. There we go. Straight through the neck, I think. Got him really good there. So that's two people down without them noticing. I see somebody on the right there as well. Somebody in the building. I think I'm going to move towards the truck. Trying to stay out of sight. Trying to circle around them to get a better position. The closer I can get, the better, because that means that I'm in the advantage. Even though, yeah, I, I shouldn't normally be in the advance. I think this guy also has his back turned. There we go. I mean, if you make it easy for me, then I'm gonna take advantage of that. Ooh, doggo. Doggo. I uh, should maybe put down a bomb over here. And then move back. And if I'm lucky, they're gonna walk into that. Or. I can help things along, but I think the dog is going to trigger it. There we go. So I think that got at least the dog, but I think even, yeah, the dude as well. So that's good. There's two people getting closer. Should maybe try to put down another one. On the side of the car here. And if I now use the bottle... Oh, there's submachine bullets over there. Might have something. I'll see what's up. But she's gonna. There she goes. And then this guy, yeah, he was going down. Okay. He doesn't know where I am. I think he's just guessing because he knows the location of the bomb. They haven't seen me. He's trying to get closer. He knows I should be around here. I think if I just move to the back here. Ooh, that was really close. Yeah, and I think I can just take him out like that. That was really clean. That was really clean. There we go. Goodbye. Goodbye. They're all wearing police gear, by the way, which is interesting. So they might be part of, like, you know, Federer or something like that. The others. I don't think so. Oh, fuck. My side. Yeah, that probably hurts, but... Where are the tracks? We took out everybody without even a, a hitch, so let's craft two more bombs, because they're definitely worth it. Because they're actually very effective stealth tools, I never really used them as such. But uh, that was very, very nice, even though, yeah, I'm sorry. I feel really ba bad about killing dogs every single time, but... Yeah, they don't give me a mu much choice. At least they don't eviscerate the dogs like they do with the humans, because the guy lost his left arm and the dog didn't really lose anything. That's a very st stupid thing to take comfort in, but yeah, that's that's it. So, that's that little market area cleared out. Um, got a few nice bullets out of that and uh, some more crafting parts as well. So let's write down about the rattlers. Because they seem to be police-minded, but at least police equipment-minded. Because they have, like, uh, vests, helmets, and uh, submachine guns. Scars, wolves, fireflies, fuck all these groups. Definitely. And then, of course, the Rattlers can join those groups as well. Now, um, is that... What is the way forward? 
We're going towards a round building, but this seems to be a dead end. I'm just going to loot a little bit if I can find anything, and then we'll just move towards the end of that other street. Okay, so it doesn't okay. seem to be anything here, and that's to the resort. yeah, that's the uh, the round building that the guy was talking about over there. So it's pretty far away. So I'm definitely not ending this game in this episode. <laughs> Let's pull that open. And let's close that behind us, apparently. Grab everything we can get, because... Uh, we're definitely not out of the woodworks yet. We got a lot of weapons now. And that usually means that we'll have to use them against these dudes. Basically mirrors the first game again, because we, uh, we also got the, the assault rifle near the ending of the game. And now again, we have a fully automatic weapon. Is that that? Shit. Oh, wow. Yeah, proper slave encampment. Let's move! With uh, props and everything. Oh, God. That looks like a tall round building. I mean, this is one hell of a game. You definitely get your money's worth if you buy, if you buy The Last of Us Part 2. And it's all very, very high quality, but still, it makes me wonder how many developers lost their minds trying to make this game. Because it is so big and so good that I do wonder what the cost was of making all of this, but there's another letter over here. Hey Ratlus, it's Mackenzie. I'm out, I'm free, my husband died picking your fucking tomatoes. We aren't some lone stragglers. I will be back with others. Your time is coming. So indeed, they will definitely piss off other people if they keep doing this. And we get some more supplies in this pile of trash. Uh, more bottles as well. And other than that, we can't really use anything. So, oh, that was a lot of noise. I think we need to go underneath the trailer here. And that might get us inside of the... Yeah, uh, can pull this open. Probably where Mackenzie got out. But Ali is not looking good. Come on, come on, you can do it. Just a little closer, buddy. Dude, leave him alone. He can't feel anything. Oh, fuck that. I promised him I'd do this to him. <gasps> this is such a fucked up hobby. Bet you wish you didn't try to escape now, don't you, Anthony? There we go. Is that a runner? Ah, okay, I thought it was just a normal human being. But it's a runner. Um, and apparently his buddy didn't really get the memo there. Because <laughs> I killed him. I could leave that runner over here. What happens if I set him free? Oh, this is gonna be funny. What's the intention? That is hilarious. Uh, so I'm gonna put down a bomb over here. I can grab the arrow back from this guy. And then... Should probably make some noise. They're probably gonna try and uh, get over here. So if I just... Hold the attention. That's why I always take a bottle. Bottles are better distractions. Ah. It, there we go. Got you. Okay, so there's at least three more. But I think I'm in a pretty good position in this container. Because they're either going to have to go past me, and I'm pretty well protected to uh, not get seen while I'm also grabbing somebody here. Oh! There we go. Okay, that was just in time. Second arrow got him in the face. But now, I think one of them one of them jumped on top of the roof, but there's definitely two more, so. Okay, so there's that one. If I just cross. Cross past the container. I can grab this bottle as well. Oh crap, he's in there, okay. I have to be careful. 
Because I don't know how many more there are in the building. I could see one up there. This guy is going to get it in a minute. I think he doesn't know where I am. There we go. Oh, you do? Where's the one that saw me? Okay, so there's one... One up there that saw me. I'm gonna find you. So I'm just gonna go closer because I think he thinks I'm still over there near that other guy. So if he's moving over there, I can just go in the back and grab him over here. I'll stab him in the face. There we go. Positioning. It's all about positioning. And I'm pretty sure there's still a woman alive. It... Or not. These are some sick fucks. Says the girl who just murdered all of them, but I mean, ah, <laughs> oh, this is great. I'm also getting like free melee weapons without the need to even spend anything on them. And I think I'm probably, no, all of them might be out of, wow, out of space for the SMG bullets, but never mind. I have about like 60 of them and the game apparently doesn't care anymore about ammo limits. Okay. Ah, we found the last workbench because we even looked at it. So that's this is definitely the last workbench. Okay, so that is good to know. Um, that also means that we should be on the lookout for as many crafting materials as I can. And actually use those on that crafting station there. Ah, we have another card over here. Spark Tug trading cards. Let's take a look at that. Ooh, that's a... A fancy fellow. Oh, we can actually go further over here. But that's not where I want to go. I want to use the crafting the crafting bench before we continue on. So, let's check out our weapons one last time. I feel like this might be... Do I have enough for the rangefinder? Yeah. We can't even upgrade the submachine gun, which makes sense. It seems like it's a... A very nice gun at the very least. So let's just fully upgrade the bow as our final weapon to upgrade. We haven't been able to upgrade everything to the max, but we were pretty close. Um, but this gives us the range finding, and I've been really curious about that, what that upgrade really does. Because does it just change the scope, or does it actually give us a UI prompt as to how... While aiming at an enemy, an additional marker will show the exact range of the enemy on the reticle. Ooh. That is really cool. There's also an upper level to this. So it basically does what I thought it was going to do. Um, and there's just more resources. But yeah, we're basically full up on everything resource-wise. I can't really craft anything anymore. Um, aside from maybe a silencer, I can do that. But other than that, everything is up fully. Um, I might as well make a, a fancy melee weapon as well. Just to have a bit of extra resource space. Ooh, and then a bunch of oh, more crafting materials. Might as well check if there's maybe one more one more upgrade I can make. Because I think I had about 10 crafting parts left. So if anything on the pistol maybe still counts for like 20 crafting parts, I might be able to do so. But... Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Oh, there's actually quite a bit on Ellie's weapons that I don't yet have. Which is peculiar, because I feel like I've done a pretty good job of uh, scrounging around, looting every single area, but apparently not. Sad, but there's this gate over here, but that's not going to be open, because I kind of know what the way forward is. It's through that building. So... We're gonna go through here, and that's probably gonna trigger a bunch more enemies. Um, before we go any further here, although... This seems like an area with no enemies. So does that mean that this... I was gonna take a little break, but... This seems story related. Although there are resources here as well. You know what? I'm gonna take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching before we head in here. Um, yeah. Really, thank you guys enormously for watching if you made it this far, because this is, I think by my calculation, episode 25 already. So I'm hoping this ends at episode 26. I'm not exactly sure. But in the meantime, thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. and See you guys in maybe the final episode 
of The Last of Us Part 2 next time. Goodbye.